Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Intensity at a fever pitch, just about set to kick it off in the SEC. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Alabama, the heart of Dixie, looking forward to today's exciting game. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Ole Miss is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. And this season is officially underway. Towns fields it at the two, and he's taken down at the 22-yard line. Alabama's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage, and, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That'll bring up third and inches. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. He's taken down at the 35. That's a first down, Brad, and I'll tell you, this running back has shown a nose to be able to pick up some first downs a hard-nosed, tough, physical back that when they know they need those short yards to pick up a first down, he's the guy they can turn to. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Right gets about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 39-yard line. Set. Green 90. Green 90. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Six yard line. First down. Ready. They'll work the left. He makes it to the 45 yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Go with a run once again. Runs it left for a decent game. And this play is number eight on the drive. Ready. Bring they bring the quarterback down. The smart quarterbacks 
and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Malone looking to knock one inside the 20 here on this punt. It's away. Short punt. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Tackle made at the 22. Fields gets three yards on the carry. out to around the 32. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. He makes it to the 35-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he's taken down around the 45-yard line. That makes it first and 10. That's a great tackle at the 42. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So at the end of one, this one's scoreless. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And they make the stop right around the 22-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. He's out to the 30. Makes it out to about the 33. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. And he throws it away. 
Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he's hit immediately. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Nice run up the middle. to his tight end. Nothing doing. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled. That's the 45. That's a Third down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Let's go! Green up! Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 41. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 14 yard line. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? This is the 12th play of this drive. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Quick throw, picked off. I'm really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. From their own 21-yard line, first down. Slings it out, and it gets tipped. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. That's a loss of about three. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. From their own 18-yard line, third down. He 
did not get to the first down marker. They pick up some good yardage, but it's just short of the first down. Here, this is just a great effort by the ball carrier, but the defense does an excellent job to stop him short of the first down. Simmons awaits the snap. He dropped it. He's got the corner, and down he goes at the 40. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. out to his wide out and he's tackled the 47 yard line I think the secondary caught a break there with that ball being overthrown to the tight end. I know he's a big fella, but he's still a playmaker, and that had big play written all over it. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. I think the play call was the right one by the offense. I just think the defense made a better play. They seem to want it more here on this big third down. Offense comes up a little bit short to set up a fourth down, but give all the credit to the personnel on the defensive side of the ball. So we've played two quarters. Still no score. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these offenses have proven to be capable of making explosive plays, and really we expected to see a lot of that in this game. Haven't seen it so far. You know, David, that, this game reminds me a lot of the 2012 Stanford-Oregon game when the Stanford defense did such a great job of limiting Oregon's big plays. Yeah, and Oregon's an offense that thrives on the big plays, and you see them go the length of the field all the time, and how fast? I mean, just a blink of an eye, you can see it, but what about when you make them execute on third down? What about when you make them execute on third and short? And then you put them in field goal position or field goal range, and you make them decide whether they want to kick a field goal on fourth and short because they don't really feel comfortable getting it. When you make an offense go the length of the field and execute, th that's when turnovers happen. You, you need somebody to slip up and make one mistake. If they put 12, 13, 14 plays together as opposed to four or five, the likelihood of that mistake coming we're very much swings in favor of you. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Manson from the six, and he's tackled at the 23-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Looks for his running back, incomplete. From their own 23-yard line, second down. 
He's got to throw it in a hurry. Runs with it, and he's got room. Decides to slide. Call it a gain of nine yards. That'll make it third and one. Stop behind the line. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. Room around the corner. Butler takes it to 36. Offense falls on it. He's taken down at the 44. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Pressure coming. Caught open field. Tackle at the 28 yard line. That's a game 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Check 83. Ball going to 83. He fights forward to about the 26. That makes it second and eight. On the ground, right side. Nice run there. That's a game seven. Third and down. Washed out, and he's going to get sacked. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. Great play there by the D. It's early in the season, but they showed they don't get rattled at all. I give them a lot of credit. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Easy, 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 easy. Brought down around the 34-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. And he's tackled right away. Bring him down at the 48. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of three yards. yards. That'll, That'll make, make it second, second and seven. seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 48. <laughs> Tackle made at the 40-yard line.
Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. From the 40-yard line, second down. immediately after the catch. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball of the 22. Taken down right around the 14 yard line. That makes it second and two. Here's the eighth play of the series. They're back in the red zone where they have really struggled lately. Red 18! Red 18! Zips it to the tight end. And he's taken down at the 12. It's first and 10. Ball on the 12-yard line. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receivers. Tenth play of the drive. Carries the ball for a nice game. So with one quarter remaining, now this one's scoreless. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Wow, a big stop there early in the fourth quarter. And the way this game has been played and how tight it's been, every defensive stop will be huge. This one should be makeable. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Seminoles entered today's game ranked 22nd. But no one, they were in danger of falling out to the top 25. And for Texas State, they're in danger of losing two straight. The Seminoles have the lead, 21-14. Reese, 3-0 here. Number six. Alabama ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. The defenses have certainly been the story in this football game. No doubt about it. The defenses have been dominating on both sides of the ball. But one play from either of these offenses could determine the outcome of the ball game. So we're early in the fourth quarter. Still a lot of football left, but in a game this tight, every possession is going to make a difference. Got an opening. And they make the stop around the 36-yard line. First down. He's tackled right around midfield. That's a team 14 yards on the play. First down. From midfield. First down. Three down, three down. Watch 18, 18 for Mike. Here we go. Easy, 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 easy. Run, run, run. He gets out to about the 48 yard line. Hard to get in two yards. That makes it second and eight. Easy, easy, easy. Over, 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 over. 
Here's a handoff, left side. Gets out to around the 38. That makes it first and 10. Makes the catch and look out, and down he goes around the 31 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Three down, three down. Watch 18, 18 the mic. Ready! And he's immediately tackled. First down. They need to find a way to get points this trip in the red zone. Tackled for a loss. From the 21 yard line, second down. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Less than three minutes in the game. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. converts the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Wildcats take the field today just barely hanging on to a spot in the top 25 at number 25. A tight game, two relentless fighters exchanging blows. And for Sanders, he's punched one into the end zone on the ground. Arizona leads it 7-0. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Simmons has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. They'll bring him down at the 29. Alabama's ranking, that doesn't mean anything right now. No, they've not played up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He makes his way to about the 42. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled at about the 45. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. On the ball, get ready, get ready. A little more than two minutes to go Here in the fourth go. quarter. Green, 88. Green. Wright gets the call. Breaks it, and he's got the corner. He makes it to the 48-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Throws it deep. Almost intercepted. Brock was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Five wide. Set. Right. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. From the 40-yard line, 
First down. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Here we go. Wide eighty. Tackle at the twenty two. play of this drive. And he makes it out to about the 21 yard line. Alabama will take their first time out of the half. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 21. Under a minute left. To that quickly. Touchdown, and they take the lead.
They didn't snap the ball in time. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT. So a nine play, 71 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Malone looks ready to kick this one off. Parrish from the five. He's tackled at the 27. Ole Miss has been unable to really show that they're the team to beat here, but it looks like they're going to get another chance at it. Well, it's now or never. This team has put themselves in a position where they have to hope for some heroics late. It's because they played sloppy most of the game. They're very fortunate they still have a chance to be able to win this game. Under a minute left in the game. Fumble, loose ball, picks up the fumble. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. That penalty will move him back to bench. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. So the penalty puts him back for a first and long. Pressure coming, and the ball is loose. Scooped up by the offense. Brought down at the four-yard line. Boy, that nearly cost them. They're very fortunate to get the football back. Late in the game like this, the number one thing is taking care of the football. Quick throw. Tackle made at about the 23-yard line. The Rebels are going to call their second timeout. Third and long here. And for the defense, if they get a stop, they've got a great opportunity to help put this football game away. Got hit and still completed it. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. First down. From their own 43 yard line. First down. Passes to his tailback again. He's taken down at midfield. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Three down, three down. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. Going deep, lays it up there. The defender had it and then dropped it. It's final, a close one to the very end. 10-7, Crimson Tide. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Wow, they were sweating bullets on that sideline because this would not have been an easy loss to live down. Even as it is, a win this close can be seen as a negative. Alabama did not necessarily play their best game, but they did survive anyway. Don't think for a second that just because you're favored big, the other guys can't stay with you for 60 minutes because that's what we just saw. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.